Hi everyone, welcome back to the AGS tutorial. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, someone had sent me an email and asked how to um, make basically a map in a game where you have an overhead map and you have the character is able to choose what section of the of the map he wants to go to by clicking on the mouse. Um, it, you have to be able to change from rooms to room, room to room on the map, but you really can't use room edges like we did in the previous um, one of the previous videos. So I'm going to bring up the map from Sammy's Quest just to give you an example um, of you know a map and how um, how the room edges wouldn't work because if if Sammy is here on his horse and we want him to go to the market, well you think well you could set the um, I'll just draw a line just for um, illustrative purposes. If we set the room edge, let's say you know here. And so when Sammy crosses the, the line, he goes to the market. Well, then how do we get to the butcher, which is here? We can't really set two room edges. We'd have to set one here and set maybe one here and set one here and here and here and on the well. So you can see that there's just too many edges. There's too many places to go for to be able to, um, to have Sammy walk from place to place. Now, in Sammy's quest, you actually had to use a hand icon on these different areas. I had to use the hand icon on the... Uh, on the door of the house to go in the house. I had to use the hand icon here to go in the, the uh, butcher shop. But I'll show you how to do it with uh, with using regions, um, which is something we haven't talked about yet. So um, really quickly, I'm going to create a new room in Sammy's Quest. I'm going to create the uh, map that you just saw. So I'm going to click on Edit Room here on this new room that I just created. Uh, change this to the map, the room description. I'm going to import my background, which is here. Okay, so now I have this map map view. Um, I'm going to make, just very quickly, I'm going to make a walkable area of the entire screen, and I'm going to change the scaling level because Sammy's supposed to be really small. He's actually supposed to be on horseback in the real game, but uh, in this one he's supposed to be really small, so I'll set his um, his scaling level to about 30% on this walkable area so that he's just you know sort of fairly small. Now we're going to talk about regions. So what you would want to do is create a region over each area that Sammy's going to be able to walk on. Um, for example, if he walks here on this region here, we want him to be able to just to jump straight into the house. So you just draw a region of where where the character will be when he walks or where you want the room to change when the character walks onto that region. Um, and you just draw a little box there. Um, or or the shape that you want. Usually regions are, for, in, for this purpose aren't going to need to be more anything more than just a box. This is region ID 1. Now regions have events just like most other things in the room editor. <clears throat> if you go to the events you see that you, there's three of them. Um, walks off region, walks onto region, and while standing on region. So I think you can guess what to do here. Um, when, the, when Sammy walks onto this region I want to um, change rooms. Um, so what I do is I click on the ellipses. That creates a function for me. Now I can say um, csammy dot change room. And this will change room into the main hall uh, because he's entering the house. So I want to go to room 1, which is the main hall. And his x and y coordinate can be you know, 160, 160, which is somewhere around the middle of the screen. And that really is it. So that's really all you have to do. If I run the game now, Um, jump to the map. Uh, I'd, that was a control X by the way. You press control X to, um, if you're in debug mode, which I'll get into a whole video about debugging, you can hit control X and bring up the um, all of the rooms in your game and you can just jump to a specific one. It's just a quick way of jumping from game from room to room. So Sammy's able to walk around the map just fine. Now if I walk into my house, boom, he crosses that region and then he jumps into the main hall. So that's exactly the behavior that, that we wanted. So you could make a um, walkable area for, I mean, I'm sorry, a region for each one of these rooms. You know, just, just in front of the room, you could put a little region and have Sammy jump to the appropriate place in the game by using the, the room script. So I hope that answers that question um, about regions. You can also um, use uh, regions for you know for edit, 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 lots of different things in your game <clears throat> in this case I used it to change rooms but since the regions have these events on there you know maybe there's an area of your room where if the character walks in that area you know some maybe a chandelier falls on him or or something like that or maybe he falls into a hole or something you know 
uh, of that nature. So you can use these regions for, um, for various things. This while standing on region, the walks off region and walks onto region basically happen once when the character does whatever um, the character, you know, whenever the character walks onto or off of the region. While standing on region is, is sort of like repeatedly execute where it happens, it fires over and over and over again, the event will, so that um, while any time the character is standing on that region, it's going to fire this event. So you might want to do something like, the reason this is in there is you might want to check a flag or, or, um, or something like that. If the character, while the character is standing on the region, I want to check for something or I want something to happen, um, you know, continuously. Uh, I can't think of an example at the moment, but I know if you're, if you're checking a flag or if you're doing something like that, you want to, to, to check all the time while the character is standing on the region. You can do that. Again, this, this, this event will fire um, roughly 40 times a second. Um, while the character is standing on the region. So I hope that helped. This is so, sort of a short video, but, um, but I uploaded this one and the previous one um, sort of back to back so you'll have a little bit of stuff to chew on before the next video. And um, hope you're enjoying the videos and take care. Thanks for watching, guys.